Dodger, and you are watching the second half of my interview with Sandeep. Part two. P part two. The, the epic part, uh, where we're just going to hang out and just keep talking for a few more minutes. The epic part, where we're just going to hang out. <laughs> our our hangouts see. can be epic. Come on. If you want to watch the first part, go ahead and click on this guy. And uh, otherwise, we're just going to keep on chatting. So we were talking about Legend of Neil mm -hmm. and uh, the, the genesis of the Legend of Neil and how epic that was. So... So you just, I mean, it sounds like you just contacted like, you know, people that you had worked with on the guild and just other people that you well, knew the from guild the didn't group. exist at the time. Oh. The guild and Legend Neil kind of came out at the same same time. In fact, I think we shot the pilot of Legend Neil before the guild pilot was shot. Oh, gotcha. Um, yeah, that was like in 2007. It was a magical year <laughs> uh, <laughs> for me, at least. And uh, yeah, I mean, it was just a, a matter of contacting people. Like I, you know, uh, the character of Neil had to be sort of a uh, douchebag asshole. Right, of course. And so Tony Janning was the first person that popped in my mind. Ah, um, much like uh, Felicia Day casting you as. as a well, and, and also when I you know, <laughs> came up with it, yeah, exactly, <laughs> right. Um, and you know when I was thinking of a, a good foul mouth fairy, I mean there was no other person in my mind besides besides Felicia. If Felicia. That makes sense. Um, what a lot of people don't know about her. Uh, and she hates when I say this in interviews. I was gonna say, are you gonna get in trouble for this? Because um, I, I mean, yeah, whatever. She Helm is hilarious, mm -hmm. like, and and kind of can be hilariously dirty, and it's it's obviously evident when you see Legend of Neil. Right. But that's kind of like how I knew her when when we were improving on stage. It was, um, you know, this adorable, uh, you know, redheaded girl who would come on stage and be the foulest mouth person <laughs> on the planet, and it was so funny. Um, or at least she, she would do that, some, you know, that, that was like a kind of a character that she would play. Right. Um, and I was like, man, you know, there was just no doubt in my mind when, when we wrote that fairy, it was like, it was for Felicia. Right. Um, and just like the old man, uh, you know, the old man is played by Mike Rose, who is a brilliant improv comedian, and uh, I had no doubt in my mind that I wanted him to play that either. So it's, you know, I just want to cast my friends and, and, and play with my friends. Yeah, why not? It's all about. Make, a, make business and happiness all exactly. combine into one. Yeah. Fantastical thing. Indeed. Do you have any other projects that you're planning on on working on? Or uh, I'm running a pilot right now for Com Comedy Central, which I'm excited about. Oh, nice! About. So sort of the Legend of Neil, the success of Legend of Neil. We did it for three seasons, mm -hmm. and I uh, kind of kept growing and growing. Um, netted this deal with Comedy Central to write a, uh, a pilot script for them. So who knows? Maybe we'll, you know, um, we're still sort of in the idea phase of that. Um, but I'm very excited about the concept that I come up with, and I can't tell you what it is. <laughs> Um, so I'll have to come back. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, You're gonna have to leave. So. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> awesome. Well, that's that's really exciting that you get to work on that. Have you have you worked with Comedy Central before? Or? Well, kind of the whole deal with Legend Neil. So what, what happened was this is sort of the interesting story behind Legend Neil was that we made it for Channel 101, but it's uh, like they actually did a show on VH1 called Acceptable TV. Where, you, we were, they were doing exactly the same thing, just on television. Okay. And then right when we submitted that show, the show like the next week got canceled. And so then like everybody who was in the Channel One community like had already seen Legend of Neil and had already been like out. Mm -hmm. So they like didn't want to put it into the Channel One Hundred One show that would that airs locally in LA. Right. Anyway, long story short, they they kind of like you know make something else for us. You mm -hmm. know they didn't really pick up Legend of Neil, so I was like, well, I kind of want to just make, make more Legend of Neil, so I, uh, <laughs> you know, put it on YouTube, and that's mm -hmm. where it got, like, like, half a million hits in, in, in less than a month. YouTube is pretty crazy um, that way. Yeah, it was awesome. It was, it was just so crazy to, that was the first time I really experienced the viral process, you know, mm -hmm. it was, it was uh, you're just, my inbox just completely exploding, and I'm like, what the hell is going on? Like, I thought, <laughs> at first I thought someone, like, hacked my account, and was right. just sending me spam, and then I was like, wait, these are from YouTube, and these are people liking my show. It was very, it was like such an awesome night. As yeah. I just watched my inbox just get torched. Uh, so, you know, I basically went, you know, when we got those half a million views, um, I was like, well, I think we can take this around and sell this thing. And so it was really the, it was really showed the power of the internet. I mean, when I, I had an agent at the time at William Morris and, uh, you know, I went around with my first show. Which was this independent television pilot that I shot on my set, on my own, which is about superheroes and whatever. Um, nice. Fun show called The Good Guys, uh, <laughs> and uh, that you know I went around to all the traditional media outlets trying to sell the show, and uh, everybody's like, "Oh, this is cute, but not you know not really for us." And mm -hmm. you know, um, we don't think that superheroes on TV it's too high concept. And then like lo and behold, Heroes comes out later or whatever. Yeah, I was just gonna um, say. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of like, okay, fine. They all said no to it, and, and it was also my first project, my mm -hmm. first time pitching. And so they're like, come back to us when you have something else. And so then right. I came back around to the same people with Legend of Neil, and this time I had, 
you know, a show that had a proven, you know, a proven audience and, and people be like begging for more. Right. And every single one of those same meetings that I had from before became offers. Hmm. I mean, I literally was four for four. Walked into four meetings, walked out with four offers. That's so um, crazy. And I think it was truly the power of being able to say like, hey, look, this sh I can make this without you. I don't need you. Right. So do you want to come in and fund it and make it even better and then I can make it on my own? Then great. Um, and so then, uh, so Comedy Central came along and trumped the rest of the offers, basically. Mm -hmm. You know, for the opportunity to work with Comedy Central, I mean, that's where I want yeah. to be. I do comedy. They are the central area of comedy, <laughs> um, as per their name. So I, uh, yeah, I, I, I jumped on board with them, and and they bought, they had just bought Adam Adam Films mm -hmm. and turned it into Adam.com, and so they sort of like that became their like uh, place for original programming on the on the web. And uh, I, worked, I started working with all the Adam folks, and they're all great. And you know, I just did season after season. And so it's, the, it's been the longest running, uh, most watched, most successful show for Comedy Central Online. Yes, this one. Um, That's fantastic. Um, as a final question, what is your favorite color? Green. Yes! Really? Yes! That guess, right? That's your favorite color? That's my favorite color. The color of the heart. I'm so excited the about color of that. the heart. That's fantastic. Look. Yeah, it is. Guy behind the camera that looks skeptical. <laughs> if you know anything about Indian chakras, it's, it's the heart. The heart center is green. So there, sir, and whatnot. But thank you so much for coming and talking to me. And it's my pleasure. I really want to eat space. that crudite that's back there. Um, I'm really sad that you didn't just have it with you. I wanted to have it on my lap the whole time, but the, um, the entire time. Some jerk wouldn't let me. Some some guy behind oh, the camera it. was they're ringing it. Oh 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 mm. yes. Oh god, don't spill it. Now I'm happy. Let's All do right. the interview over again. Okay. So hey, how's it going? <laughs> well, I'm awful. Uh oh. No, <laughs> oh, oh, no. I feel like this is counterproductive. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to see the first part, again, go ahead and click on this. Also, we will have a link after the end of this. But um, thank you so much to Sandy for coming and talking to us. No problem. And tune in next time to see who we will be interviewing next. So long. Thanks for the carrots.